Um, we're at the start of the third revolution in cancer care. The first revolution was the prevention revolution and I'm sitting about a mile from where Richard Dahl worked. And it was Richard Dahl who established the link between smoking and health, which is still a huge problem and a growing problem in places like China and India. The second revolution was the high-tech revolution. Chemotherapy, radiotherapy, complementing surgery and now with the added power of genetics and biomarkers. So it's been fantastic. It's also got a lot more humane cancer care. Communication is much better. But at the end of decades of progress, every society on earth, every society on earth, faces five huge problems in cancer care. Firstly, failure to prevent disease. I've mentioned the, the problems related to cigarette smoking, but that's only one of the, the prevention measures we've failed to implement. Secondly, inequity. Unfairness. Even within constrained resources, people who are poor and have cancer get a very much worse deal than people who are rich and have cancer. Thirdly, there is waste of resources. Waste of resources. Estimated by people like John Berwick as being up to 30% of the American healthcare budget and maybe 20% is a conservative estimate. Now that 20% is very, very important because that 20% of waste will give us the resources we need for at least a decade of growth. If cancer need is growing at 1-2% to per annum and there are no more money, then we need the wedge, the wedge of resources that are wasted and turn that, flip that, so it is available for good use, for high value intervention. Fourthly, there's harm. The last 40 years we've really been focused on the balance of benefits and costs, cost benefit analysis. The next 40 years we're going to focus on the balance of benefits, costs and harms. Now, there are two types of harms in healthcare. One's a harm that results from patient safety problems. But even if it's very high quality care, all healthcare can do harm as well as good. In screening, for example, some of the people who are harmed by screening don't even have the disease for which the screening has been offered. So they need to understand fully the options. And treatment, treatment by its nature, very powerful treatment, radiotherapy, chemotherapy, surgery. Some people will be harmed even by the best quality, safest service. And this means we have to treat citizens as adults and tell them about the risks, the benefits, and to them, the, the physical costs. Waste and harm are completely interwoven. Waste and harm are interwoven. Even with lots of resources, we still want to reduce the intensity of care unless there is very good evidence of benefit. So those are the four of the five big problems. Failure to prevent disease, inequity, waste and harm. The fifth phenomenon, it's variation. Unwarranted variation in everything you look at. Access, activity, investment, quality, safety, outcome, cost, value. Variation, variation, variation. And that gives us the clue that there are resources that can be adapted and changed, that there's scope for development. But it does require a new approach. And that new approach is going to be based on a few simple principles. Focus on value, not quality. Secondly, focus on the individual. Move from what's the matter medicine uh, to what matters to you medicine. That's Maureen Bisognano's line from the Institute for Healthcare Improvement. Engage all clinicians in the stewardship of resources. It can't be left to managers and finance staff. Clinicians have to be responsible and to look for the best allocation of resources between different types of cancer and the best use of resources for each particular type of cancer. And this requires a culture change. We need to move from institutions to systems. These are the solutions we have in Oxford Cancer Solutions. We're convinced they're the right solutions. And as the pressure imposed by increasing need in a time of constrained resources becomes stronger and heavier, then other people will see the need for these solutions too. I'm sorry I'm not with you, but we try to minimise travelling for uh, keep a sustainable service. 
but we are absolutely convinced cancer need is going to increase faster than resources, but there are solutions and these need to be delivered to rich countries and poor countries.